Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Miguel and in this video I want to show you a professional solution of our last video. So again I would like to show the minutes and seconds in our time application. But this time I don't want to use an if statement and I don't want to use a minutes counter. But I would like to use a modulo and integer division calculation. So modulo is a really handy tool and will give you the remainder of a division. And this could be used to do iterations. And the integer division is a bit different in what you may know from math. So but let me give you an example. In this example I want to calculate 129 divided by 60. But this time I want to do an integer division. So this is the reason why I have chosen the div keyword and not the slash. And you may expect a result of 3 because the result is round about 2.983. But the computer is working a bit different and could do a so-called algorithm called slow division. And in this algorithm the computer will check whether the first number is bigger than the second number and if this is true the computer will calculate iterations. And the first iteration would be 129 minus 60 and this equals 119. So 119 is still bigger than 60 so it will start in second iteration. 119 minus 60 and this equals 59. But at this point the computer will not do a next iteration because 59 is smaller than 60. But what the computer has done is the computer has done two iterations and has a remainder of 59. So the result is 2 and the remainder is 59. This is um, so your computer could also do different algorithms. It's also important what you calculate. So in some situations it's actually really simple. Like if you do a division by 2, your computer will just do a bit shift of the binary representation of the number. And this is really fast. But this example has something to do with our timer. Because we have a seconds counter and the seconds counter has the value 129. And now I would like to know the minutes and seconds of this counter. So what I like to do is I like to do an integer division by 60 because I want to know the minutes and this will return 2. And I will do a modulo calculation to get the remainder and the remainder will be 59. And this is the correct result of our timer. So the timer should display 2 minutes and 59 seconds. So let's try it out. Just go to my website devstructor.com, go to tutorials and download my project files of Lazarus tutorial number 5. So I will simply start Lazarus and open this project like I did. And now we just need to change one line of this project. So a really simple adjustment. And we want to show the minutes. So into string counter integer division. So we use the div keyword by 60 plus in colon to make to indicate where our seconds begin and now we also want to show our seconds so what we need to do is do counter modulo to get the remainder and in pascal it's a mod keyword by 60. I also would like to change the timer interval to 10 so that it's really simple yeah, I'm sorry, Th that it's really simple to see. And now we simply need to start our application. And everything is working fine. I hope you learned something and you may read something about modulo or integer division, bitches or whatever, because 
This is some really useful knowledge that could save quite some time. And modulo is especially interesting if you want to do iterations. So just take a look at it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I would also like to hear some feedback. And I'm simply saying bye. Bye.